jersey without foul, about as close as he could get. Just enough to disturb him on that. Westbrook got caught in the air. Here come the Warriors. Drebko left it short. Good defense, and Diallo just took a monster fall, and he is hurt. He is in a ton of pain. As he came down awkwardly, you saw it. As I think Jarebko came and landed on him. And this was something that was obvious right away as the Thunder already down Terrence Ferguson tonight. He had a left ankle injury. And Hamadou Diallo, who did such a good job defensively to prevent that bucket, as you see Russell Westbrook looking on. Shaking his head and Hamadou Diallo who continues to provide these valuable minutes Michael and he just I think he came down awkwardly As Jarebko came On him we'll check it out when we come back, but Hamadou Diallo getting attended to We'll have hopefully have an update Well obviously a somber mood here at Oracle Arena and you see some concerned faces Russell Westbrook Paul George, Raymond Felton, everybody looking on as the stretcher has come out for Hamadou Diallo, who took a very tough blow on this previous play underneath the basket where he continues to be tended to. Michael, and, and just such a, a difficult moment here for the Thunder, who obviously have welcomed in Hamadou Diallo this season and, and all the work that he's done and all the hard work as everybody's going to Give him a pat on his way out, and his left leg is obviously the concern right now for this rookie out of Kentucky who has just been stellar for the Thunder so far this season. So we obviously don't know anything at this point as he is going to get help off the court here at Oracle as the crowd will give him a standing ovation. As Hamadou Diallo coming off of that big game against Sacramento. When he had a career high 18 points. And, and it's one of those situations where, you know, it's no, no longer about basketball anymore. Everyone is concerned about Hamadou Diallo from both teams. Even you can see the, the emotion in the officials and the crowd as we all are in prayer right now for Hamadou.